While most shift knob videos are for your manual transmission, today we're going to show you how to upgrade the shift knob on your automatic. This custom shift knob from Barton Industries will be direct replacement for the factory shift knob on all 2015 through 2018 Mustangs with the automatic transmission. Available in a variety of finishes, you can get the ball in either a white finish, a red finish, a blue or a black, through choice of either black accents or the brush shown here. And this will be a direct replacement for the factory one, gives you that custom cue ball look. For this installation, you'll need a small plastic pry bar, a shorty or right angle Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of cutters. At the beginning of the installation, obviously we've got to remove the factory piece. To do that, we'll start by removing this trim ring here, then we can lift the boot up and then actually get to the screws to remove the factory shifter. To make it easier, pull this little rubber cup out of the front. And then you get a grip on the chrome. Carefully, even this small plastic pry bar makes it easier. Just separate it. Now we're gonna remove this base section here. The boot will come out with this. All right, disconnect the plug in the front. Not only lift the boot up. To remove the knob the rest of the way, what we're gonna do, do not start the car, but hit the start button. I'll allow you if you put on the brake, you can put it back in the neutral, or even all the way back if you want. And there's two screws right here in the front. Once those screws are removed, just put it in neutral. This will slide right off. The small flathead screwdriver, there's going to be two clips in the sides here. Pop those free to separate our factory shift knob from our boot. This plastic sleeve will come off as well. Now, this is going to be glued to the boot. I usually simply just squeeze the boot, it'll come right off. Now I'm going to grab the base for the new shifter. I want to put it through with this screw facing towards the labeling for the automatic. What's going to happen, it's got to be pushed through here. More than likely though, do a little bit of trimming to make it go through. Make sure you get it in the groove past that screw, and then we can use the provided zip tie to hold it in place. Look like that when it's finished. Okay, we're back in the car. We're gonna install this adapter onto the factory transmission. Put it back in gear. We're going to install this with the two small screws we removed earlier. There's a lot of places you can drop things in here. So I'd suggest some sort of a little rag in here. So if you do drop the screw, it doesn't go very far. When we do install this, make sure the slot is facing the driver's side. These two little holes are going to be facing up. We're ready to install the knob adapters. What we want to do is grab the supplied screw, just start this in the side. And we'll go through just enough so it doesn't fall out. And then you got to grab the two springs. There's going to be two holes in the knob adapter that match for these two holes down here on the adapter on the actual transmission. This part can be a little tricky, but if you put them in here, there is grease in here so they will stay. Now we can guide them down into these holes on the adapter when we install this. And now you want to push this down and the screw we installed earlier, make sure it's in the slot and tighten it down with the supplied wrench. At this point, just check everything. 
Make sure it goes in the park. Make sure it goes in the gear like it's supposed to. And then reinstall this plate. Then grab your trim ring, make sure you line it up in the back first, pop that down into place, then reinstall the rubber cup. What we're going to do now is install the shifter ball itself. Now this is going to be held on by Loctite. You're basically going to put this on and thread it down far until it's perfectly straight and you'll let it set overnight until it dries. Loctite is included, just gonna put some on the threads here. Get it nice and straight, and your insulation is finished. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to like the white, but the white cue ball is such a classic look. It looks great in our 2018 Mustang as well. Now, again, this is available in black, red, or blue with your choice of a satin or a black finish. The installation is very straightforward. This will take you no more than an hour. Be back on the road in no time.